Hey everybody, it's Stacy, and it's time for Pillow Talk. Tonight I wanted to just briefly talk about something my girlfriend and I were discussing today. She was like, Stacy, you should do Pillow Talk about like first time experiences. So, you know, your first day of school, your first kiss, your first love, your first heartbreak. You know, and it's very significant. Um, first time experiences are very significant. Let me get that right. Um, so me, my personal um, experience, I want you guys to share your first experiences as well. Um, my first kiss was in sixth grade. Um, I was in the band room and my boyfriend was in the eighth grade. So it was at the end of the band class. And before we left, um, we kissed. Now I can't say the name because I have to protect the innocent. And um, he's married and you know has kids and stuff now, but still I'll keep that between us. But it was in sixth grade. Um, first heartbreak, I would say as a kid, um, it was probably, 10th grade, I had a boyfriend, um, long distance relationship. I mean, I just knew this was going to be my husband. You know, he was the best. He was older than me. I've always liked older guys. Um, so, um, he decided, I guess, when I was in the 10th grade, and I think he was in the 12th grade, um, that he didn't want to be my boyfriend anymore. And I was just devastated. So that was probably my first heartbreak as an adult um first heartbreak was probably about 10 years ago like serious heartbreak I had you know little heartbreaks but like serious relationship ending probably about 10 years ago um but all of these events you know your first job um I remember my first job in high school was working with my father and then I also worked at a drugstore, Colonial Pharmacy, your drugstore and more in Murfreesboro, North Carolina. Um, first real job um, after college was a teaching job. I taught for two and a half years in um, Maryland, in Prince George's County, Maryland, um, elementary school. So, you know, all these first shape who you are. These experiences shape how you will govern yourself through life. You know, those heartbreaks hurt, but they let you know what you will and won't put up with in your next relationship. It also lets you know, the first love lets you know that feeling of elation. Um, you know, just, a you know, the good feeling of love. It's like you wish you could capture it and put it in a bottle and keep it. Like, it's no words to express that, but I believe everyone should be in love at least once. Should have heartbreak at least once, you know, live on your own. So your first apartment, that was just awesome for me. Like I'd had roommates and stuff, but when I had my first apartment, it just was like, okay, I'm grown. I'm really grown. It was scary. It was exciting. It was liberating, you know, so your first experiences of stuff, um, they shape who you are. Um, and they're very significant. Everyone should have a repertoire of first in their heads that they can go back and think about, you know, the first time you went here, the first time you flew on an airplane, you know, whatever it may be, you know, and, and like I said, they're just very important. You know, everyone talks about, you know, um, their first, you know, argument or their first uh child you know just all this first like so you know we always remember the bad things but we need to remember the good things too um the first time you you know smelt a flower or the first time you saw a sunrise like those things are very significant too and sometimes we just need to slow down and just take it all in and kind of bank these first experiences so we can reference them, you know, later in life. When you need a pick-me-up, you can think about that beautiful 
sunrise you saw when you were in the Bahamas or, you know, whatever it may be. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight. Just, you know, some of those first are funny. Um, some of those first are heartbreaking and sad. Um, you know, like your first, I think about the first time I experienced death and that was with my grandparents and, you know, things like that. And they stick with you, you know, and they're, you know, there are life lessons that need to happen, life experiences that you grow from. So, you know, that's really what I wanted to say. You know, I wanted to hear from you guys. Tell me about your first, like some things you'll never forget. Like, you know, just, I could just go on and on about my experiences and things I remember. But, you know, share with me, what do you think? Um, do you regret any of your first time? Was it your first and your last, you know? Or did that first time open up a door for you to continue to do whatever it may be? I remember the first time I did my vlog. And I loved it. And as you can see, I'm still doing it. So, you know, that was a good first for me. I was nervous. And now that I go back and look at my very first vlog and then how I've gotten better, I still need to do stuff. i got to work on my editing I'm not great with editing and stuff. It's very amateur, but I see, I see myself growing. So, yeah, share with me, guys. That's all I really wanted to say. I am late getting into bed, so I really need to shut this light off and go to sleep. But give me a thumbs up if you like it. Please leave me some comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I love to have you. The more, the merrier. And please, let's get some dialogue going i get the thumbs and you know everything but give me some comments so we can dialogue a little okay and until next time you guys can't even hear my soundscapes it's so low tonight but have a great night have a great weekend i'll check in with you at some point this weekend and see how you're doing um but until then sweet dreams good night